Okay, so I'm doing a demo here now of BCSA uh, using PowerShell, the Power CLI. Uh, what we're going to do is remove all of these VMs, uh, these Ubuntu 20s. Uh, we're going to turn on uh, this one, the source VM Ubuntu 20 on UCS 14. And then we're going to clone it uh, 10 times, uh, again, uh, to replace all of these. I don't know, for some reason, one, two, three, uh, didn't get started up the first time. So um, we're going to run the entire workflow. Um, once we're done copying the VMs, we're going to power them on, uh, and then they're all ready uh, to go. So let's go over to the console. And uh, let's take a look at the script. What we're going to do is connect to the VCSA. We're going to match this pattern. Uh, so if we compare the pattern um, of our VMs right now, they match this pattern here. We're going to stop them, and then we're going to remove uh, each of these VMs here. Then we're going to stop the source VM, uh, which is this one, which actually it's not running, so we'll probably comment that out. Uh, and then we'll just chill out here for 10 seconds, right after we uh, finish all the deletes. What we do next is then just start cloning the VM, right? So we say our source VM uh, is this one that we defined here. And we're just going to copy it to each of the pods. After the copy is done, then we're just going to start uh, the VM up. So uh, we'll be able to see that uh, as it happens. So let's go through here uh, and actually just run this now. Okay, so it's done the deletes and we're just uh, uh, done sleeping now, I guess, for that 10 seconds. And now it starts to do the cloning. So uh, I guess this doesn't refresh automatically. There we go. If I do a refresh, um, all those VMs are gone now, right? And that matches our search pattern. Uh, and we can see there's just one operation happening right now, which is to clone um, that initial VM. All right, so this is going to take uh, a couple minutes here. Uh, I'm not sure how long it takes uh, in total. It, look, it depends, uh, I guess, on which host uh, it copies to. Uh, if we look, um, let's just look at one host here, uh, the 14, right? That's where our, our source VM is, right? So here's uh, when we copied each of these, um, the source VM to the destination UCS in, in the first time, and we just copied, I guess, uh, a couple of them. So uh, it's going to take about, I guess, 20 minutes. 15 minutes, about 20, yeah, maybe a couple shorter, uh, depending on that. So uh, we'll come back uh, once that uh, process is done. Uh, maybe we'll just leave this running here uh, and we'll watch uh, the console messages uh, in real time. So this should uh, just line up uh, with what we see here. So uh, yeah, let's come back uh, once this is done and uh, we'll see what the progress is.
Okay, it's done. Let's go back over here, refresh this. Uh, are they not here? What's happening? Let's go. It's here. View. Okay. Virtual machines. Okay. Here we go. I don't know um, <clears throat> why that wasn't updating before, but it looks like. Five, six, seven, nine, ten. Uh, they're all up, so uh, looks good. What we can do now is just uh, validate this, right? Like we can see that the VMs are up and running, uh, but now let's go uh, access just one of the pod environments and uh, and connect to our VM here. So uh, to do that, uh, we'll go into a remote desktop, and I think I was in uh, this pod here, dot thirty three. Maybe they're down. Oh no, thirty four. I have no idea which one it was. Okay, well, I guess uh, none of the jump hosts are up uh, or accessible right now. Um, so no problem. Uh, we'll just call it quits right here. So that's uh, pretty much the end of the demo here. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll speed it up uh, so we can just validate that. Thank you. Bye-bye.